The Pro Plus Capo is the first Dario offering to feature FlexFit technology, a naturally responsive silicone formula that mimics the action of a human finger fretting a string. With the Dario Pro Plus Capo, every string rings clear, clean, and in tune. John Bolger with Premier Guitar. I am in the Ryman in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm with Rodrigo y Gabriela. And hey, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you very for, much, for having us. Yeah, you're you're both you're amazing musicians. I've been following you for a long time, and it's it's incredible that your whole thing just started. You were playing, I guess, in Mexico in in resorts, and then eventually moved to Dublin, and it took off from there, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's a long story, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we started in the streets in, in Dublin, Grafton Street. Yeah. And then uh, we, we were doing busking in Europe for quite a bit, in Denmark also, Spain, wow. just and like that. Just acoustics on the street? Or? Just acoustic on the street and also two big noses, you know that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. We, we sat on the two on big noses. Yeah. Them. yeah. <laughs> Well, well, there's been uh, been some changes in your gear I over the bit. years. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, Gabriel, let's start with you. Um, let's hear about this guitar. This is your main one. This is one of my main ones. This is the one that the my engineers really like. That sound outside. The sound that the people received out on the main room. It's very different to the sound I get, you sure, know, because yeah. I do the in ears. Yeah. So it's very different. But um, uh, so this guitar is a super guitar because it's, it's uh, handmade in Japan, and it has all of these. My technicians will tell you, or guitar tech will tell you, exactly what they did. Exactly do it. everything, all all of it. But it's reinforced, and it has a lot of different piezos, which are like a mini. Um, uh, microphones. Microphones. Yes. Yeah, so then you can hear the the percussion beats and all of these things. So that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so interesting watching you play because you're doing. I mean, you're covering the rhythm. You're you're basically the rhythm guitar player and the drummer, and the bass player, kind of all in one. They all in one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that that amazing no picks. Just that uh, d that crazy kind of flamingo right hand yeah. technique you're using. Yeah, it's not it really flamingo though. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, how do you yeah, describe yeah. it? It's kind of your own thing? It or? kind of came out like in my own thing. Yeah. And so, yes, it's no, 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 no flamenco at all. Flamenco is a completely different style of technique. Sure. Um, but this is between like a, maybe a crazy thing that came out of me and a little bit of Irish Irishness there sure. too with the Baron. Uh, so we just uh, I guess the need to do to play it with with some beats at the same time you know back in the day we, we were the two of us yeah. playing on the streets and uh, we wanted to kind of to have a beat. And then eventually, when we were playing festivals and rock festivals and things like this, I I, I managed to bring a, a like a, a beat, you know. Right. And with in the past, a long time ago, we used to trade solos, and I played the solos, and then he played the rhythmics. Yeah. But because I was the one who could actually do the beat, when we were doing festivals. Then Rod was like, keep the beat, keep the beat, because we felt like if we go to guitar, people were going to be bored. Right. So. Well, it's, it's interesting the way your whole kind of style, I guess you just developed it just through all these years of, of like, you know, making it work, the two yeah. of you. Yeah, and having different tastes, you know, like very sure. broad taste Yo, in yeah. music, you know, Yeah. which uh, especially now, we, I don't think we ever um, put some kind of a, limits to what we wanted to play but it was more focused on the acoustic world sure but this is like 20 plus years ago right and right. Uh, uh little by little we kind of uh, 
uh, came out of the closet, I guess, because we started playing electric guitar man, like when we were kids, you know. Right, what I'm saying? sure. But we always had acoustics at home or whatever, you know. Um, but I guess when we started traveling, you know, it was lighter to do it with acoustics, and that's why we just stick to them, for, you know, for the first part of our career. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but we always been into you know we we come from metal background, man. So it's yeah. so it's it's never gonna go away. Yeah, well, that's great.